Good morning, I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm Kevin Description with the top stories on this Monday, June 29th. The big story this morning, the capture of the second escaped prisoner, David Sweat, on the run for 23 days, now in custody. Authorities finally catching up with him just a few miles from the Canadian border. A state trooper saw him walking along the road, and when the suspect ran, the trooper took a shot and brought him down. Sweat arrived last night at a hospital in Albany, New York, where doctors say he is still being evaluated. The folks in upstate New York sleeping a little bit easier for the first night in three weeks. NASA says the three-man crew on board the International Space Station is in no danger of running out of supplies despite the explosion of a rocket carrying those supplies. The explosion happened just over two minutes into the rocket's flight from Cape Canaveral, Florida yesterday morning. More than 5,200 pounds of cargo were on board the SpaceX rocket. This is the third space station cargo mission to fail in just eight months. And look at this off Huntington Beach in Southern California. A couple of guys paddling, paddleboarding in the Pacific and suddenly they realized they had some company right in the water there with them. <laughs> Cue to music. A couple of young great whites. The guys calmly paddled around with them, just kind of hanging out. One of them sits down and even dangles his legs in the water. Now why would you do that? Come on, man. And a solar-powered plane attempting to circle the globe without a drop of fuel has taken off again. The Solar Impulse 2 heading for Hawaii after an unscheduled month-long stop in Japan, all because of weather. There's only one pilot on board for the 120-hour flight to Hawaii. This will be the longest leg of the journey so far. It's considered risky because there is no place to land in case of an emergency. We hope all goes well in that we one. Wish him luck. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Kendis Gibson. And I'm Rena Ninen. Thanks for watching.